Hey friend, what's up? So today we are going to go over the November 16th balance update, kind of go through some of the cards, and I will give you my thoughts and opinions on where they will be with the changes. So uh, before we get started, let's uh, take a look at this. Meal posted last night. Correction, the balance changes mention nerfs to Amox the Mad and Bone Roller, which are not included in the balance update. I was wondering why they were going to nerf Bone Roller, because it is not played at all. I assumed maybe it was played at lower ranks, but anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get started with changes. Uh, the first change we have is Pyromancy Mentor. Pyromancy Mentor was a 8 mana 1 9, magic only. After an enemy creature takes damage, get plus 2 strength to your weakest creature, roar, deal 1 damage to each enemy creature. I have never seen this played. Ever. Okay, uh, so it's going from a 1 9 to a 4 4, 4 mana 4 4, which is good. Change text 2 creatures damaged by this creature get burn plus 3. So a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, that gives burn. Um, it's interesting. I don't know how good it's going to be, though. It's... Yeah, I don't, actually, I don't think it's going to be good. I'll just be honest with you. Okay, so next on the list, Lootable Corpse card changed from a 1-1 one, one, to a 0-1, which really never good. Um, but let's look at the original stat line. So 1 mana, afterlife, give plus 2 strength to a random friendly creature. Okay. Also, doesn't get a lot of play. Interesting card art. Um, mm -mm. So change text to draw a card. There's a one mana uh, Anubian from the Genesis set. It is a one mana one two that gives you card draw when it dies, but you have to obliterate a card in your hand to play it. So there's a downside right away. Although that hasn't been played much. But maybe, I mean, maybe we'll see it. Um, it's definitely a lot less expensive. And there's a much larger supply. Okay, so next on the list, we have Crystal Tech Scholar. You have a 4 mana 1 1 that ramps, gives you an echo, 1 mana 1 1 ramps, and you can draw with it. So let's just take a look at the card. So 4 mana, echo, roar, unlock, mana lock, and power 2 also draw a card. Roar, mana unlock, and power 2 also for C2. Hmm. So I, I think it still gets played as ramp. I don't think it will be quite as strong as it was because draw is just so much better. Um, 4C is really good if you're setting up a combo. I, I just think draw is so strong. Okay, so nerfs. Um, enlightenment. So enlightenment, discard two cards, go get your deck, uh, pull a card to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Pull the cards to your hand. So you throw two cards to the void, you get two cards from your deck, and your deck is shuffled. Pretty strong. And it's going from 3 mana to 4. So that means on turn 5, I can't Enlightened and you ghost on the same turn, unless I have a pip. So it's going to be harder to fit in mana-wise as far as Control Light goes. Interesting to see that they're still kind of taking shots at Control Light. Um, I feel like it's not quite as strong as it was. And so this isn't actually getting changed. Um, but they were planning on going from 4 to 5 mana. Um, and <laughs> Bone Roller isn't getting changed either. Um, I guess they're going to roll that back, and I was wondering why it was going to get nerfed, because it is never played. 5 mana, Blitz, Roar, Temp, Fate, and apply the results to each friendly creature. It's a 5 mana, 3-3 three, three with Blitz. Hmm. So definitely a win more card, right? Like, you have to have board in order to get value out of this. Uh, so I was, <laughs> I was wondering why they were going to nerf it, but I'm glad they're not. Over the line, getting nerfed, that's huge. That's going to be... Just a huge blow to Rock Drakes. Um, over the line, 5 mana. Your creatures perform an extra attack on your opponent's god. So from 5 to 6 mana, that's 2 turns. Um, it's a big deal, especially against aggro decks. So I guess you're going to have to rely a lot more on sleep. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, pretty Pretty brutal. Sneaky Bruiser, so text change from hidden to hidden for one turn, which I think is great. There's nothing worse than a Sneaky Bruiser coming down, and then the next turn, they play Merrick, and like you just know you're going to die. Um, yeah, it, it's a brutal combo, and if you don't have um, like board clear or any way to, to attack hidden, you just die. <laughs> okay, so buffs. Ah, Bestowing Saint. Increase stats from a 2-2 two -two to a 2-3. Okay, so Bestowing Saints, at the start of your turn, heal a random damaged friendly creature for two. 
So a two mana two two is just not a great stat line, right? Like um Vanguard Axeman is a one mana two two with blitz. Uh Drider Sailweaver is a one mana two two with ward. So going to a two three is a lot better. Um I feel I feel like turn one you pip out bestowing saint. And it, it's almost like an Olympian guard, where like if you're going first and you pip out an Olympian guard, it's really hard to deal with, and it just gets value. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I think I like it. I don't know if it's going to be the best, but it seems like it'd be pretty good. And then Loam Strider is a two mana O four frontline regen one. Um, get plus one strength after this creature is healed, and so I believe it's going to regen two. So still has zero attack. Hmm. I don't know how strong it's going to be, uh, just because it doesn't have attack. So you play it with zero attack, and then you have to wait a turn before anything can happen. It does have frontline, so your opponent has to go through it, although it gets levied. Um, something, if these get popular, like Minosian Infiltrator, just kills this. Uh, their turn two, they play Loam Strider, uh, you play Minosian, it sets the creature's health equal to its attack, and it will just kill it. Um, so, interesting. And then it looks like there were some bug fixes also on her command and no longer destroys creatures with ward. I didn't know it did that. That's crazy. Uh, Dreaming Scepter plus Obsidian Dagger abilities no longer bypass ward. Didn't know they did that either. That That's crazy. Uh, okay, that which aches. Now summons correctly after playing the Divine Coronet. Okay, so the Divine Coronet wouldn't trigger um, an Acolyte. That's interesting. Corrupt Ceremony and Enlightenment moves target cards into the correct side of the void. So I didn't know Enlightenment was throwing cards in my opponent's void. That's uh, also interesting. Whatever this word is. Blastery? Blastery? Okay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, ability, summon a creature from your void, remove one durability from this relic. That's six mana. That is a lot. Uh, okay. And... Enraging Talisman ability card now matches their parent text. Nice. Uh, okay, other notes. VFX updated the god power to align with the mulligan text. Uh, fixed incorrect colors for mana and health text. Remove lingering soulless VFX. Minor performance updates. Thank you for reading. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.